Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. Today, I am showing a little tutorial for the products that I did the unboxing for, for BB Craft. It has been a minute, and I apologize, but it's been kind of hectic. So, Flo and I have tested out the um, doily dies, and I have some ideas for the beautiful beaded trim. So first, I am going to show you the beaded trim. I put a heart beside it because it was so pretty. And you can go to bbcraft.com to check these out. And the item number for the beaded trim is DIY-WH0188-13. And that is what I want to show you first. And I have two different uses for it. I have this cute little canvas bag that I want to use in a journal. And I'm going to turn on my glue gun for purposes of the video so that um, it will be quicker. Oh, sorry about my head. Um, I probably should have turned it on before I started the video <laughs> but excuse my fingernails it's um I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to get them done this weekend because I'm finishing up my craft room and one hands off one hands on half a thumb so I apologize for that and they look tacky and uh, but I just wanted to get this video done because it's fun and I love this trim so what I thought I would do is take this trim because it's got like a rubbery feeling back I want to put it on this bag isn't that cute I just think that is going to be so adorable you can decorate anything with this trim it's cute on canvas or bags or whatever you want to use and I'm also going to use it in a journal and I'll show you that too shortly but I think I'm going to do a strip here and you can kind of stretch it if you want there and then I'm going to do a little strip at the bottom but at the bottom I'm going to add a little thing of lace so here is the stretch of trim you get just a little over a yard but it was it's just really pretty and these are like real little rocks and little gold beads that are in this so it's really pretty um, let me find a thing of lace so that I can show you what I wanted to do with the lace and I hope everybody's doing well today and having a wonderful start to your morning or evening or whatever time of day you're watching this I for me this is Saturday morning and I'm trying to get this done before people start getting up and stirring around found it <laughs> now BB craft also sells lace too I believe so you could always just pick up your trim and lace at the same time if you wanted so I think I'm going to try this little let me see yeah I want to use this one so let's do that first and this is some lace that I got on thrifty Thursday on Virage sale that I told you guys about but it's just super cool to mix this I think it's going to be really cute on this little bag 
I think this is the correct way. So I'm going to put the lace, I want it to hang off the bag a little bit so that when I put it in the journal as a pocket, it will hang down, maybe past the page just a touch. So that is going to be about where I'm going to have it. What do you think? See if I can get my glue going. This takes it just a minute. So I want to show you, while the glue is heating up, the other idea I have. I'm leaving that there so you can see it. Is... I wanted to use it as a belly band in my journal. And this is the journal that um, Kara made me from Kara Mia's Corner, my Dale Evans namesake journal. Love it. So I think this will be adorable as a little mini belly band right here, but I want the pink. So you've got, there we go. Isn't that cute? Make adorable belly band and I want a little small one. Or the other idea I had was to, not on that page, let me show you. Isn't that pretty? I just love this journal. There's already lace there. Here, here it was. I want to stretch. I think I'll do it here. I want to put it across this way. Isn't that pretty? It's a little tiny belly band. And it doesn't take away and it blends beautifully. You could also use it on your page edge if you wanted, like that, as some trim. But I'm going to do a belly band. Well, I could do a long belly band like that. But I think I like it. I like it better that way. So that's the way I'm going to do it. While I am waiting on my glue gun to heat up, I'm going to um, do my belly band. Because I think on the fabric I'm going to need, I'm going to need that. So, I'm going to measure it out, try to get it straight, well, you know, I can do nothing straight. And I like to just pat it just, just a touch. Then, I'm going to put that, oh no! You, just, you saw what I just did, didn't you? <laughs> I put it in too many places. Dale, Dale, Dale. What's wrong with you? So let's just wipe. <laughs> See, I mess up all the time. In case some of you think you can't do a video because you might mess up. I do too. That's why I don't do very many process videos because my process is a bit perky jerky but this glue is Fabri-Tac that I'm using or actually it's not Fabri-Tac it's the poster board glue I get at a Dollar Tree so let's try this again I'm gonna put a little there and I want it to come out just a little bit because I want to make sure it holds well so let's try this again we're gonna put that there. I'm going to hold it there a second. And I want to stretch it just a touch because I want it to be kind of a tight belly band. Make sure I've got it somewhat straight. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Then what I do is I cut, cut after instead of cutting before just in case I don't get it just right. So I'm going to let that sit just a second. Isn't that adorable? 
just something simple but so pretty and just sparkles I absolutely love this trim <laughs> so you need to go over there and get you some um, when you order with BB craft if your order is $25 or more I believe you get free shipping their prices are really really good so as long as you order $25 or more and I believe that's still the case you get shipping free so it's a great deal you can also participate in their um, review team if you will um, if you've got a YouTube channel and you have more than 150 100 subscribers you can um, ask to be part of the review team so all you have to do is go to the link that I'm putting in my description box below and you'll see in on their website where you can join their um, program and uh, they will email you from there but it is a great program and you get to try products for free and you do a video for the unboxing and then you do two more videos for a tutorial or process video and then you email them with the links and let them know when you're done so isn't that beautiful just something simple and it just sparkles it's absolutely gorgeous so I've got that in place so now I want to show you I'm going to put let's find some tags that Kara put in this journal for me and here's one leave that there because I'll be make oh yeah 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 I'm gonna try one of these such a cool journal I just love it so I've got make sure I got it wide enough and it's going to hold it nice and tight see and that's why I stretched it a little bit isn't that cute it may have glued it too much yeah it's too big for that but I mean this is too big for my belly band but in any case you get the idea see how nice that holds that nice and snug love it so let yep my glue gun's ready now so we're going to switch over to the little canvas bag and I'm going to put the little lace trim down and hope I get it on the right way and I got this at Dollar Tree no did I I don't remember I think they have little canvas things I may have gotten this at a thrift store actually but I think I have gotten some at Dollar Tree before now you know I just cut my trim my beaded trim and laid my scissors down there they are under my journal I couldn't find them so now I want to trim that because I want it to be kind of even oops cut my bag right there I'm gonna cut this like so isn't that cute and this is going to top it off so now I'm going to just do a little dab of glue a little dab will do ya and wait just a second because I don't want it to burn let me get to the green part that is in here it is I wanted to show the green here it is All right where's the most green right here so I'm gonna add right here stretch a little and I'm gonna put that there I love that let's cut this end off without cutting my bag again <laughs> Try to cut it straight, Jill. There we go. And I don't think I put quite enough glue. Oops. So I'm going to add a little more just right under there. And 
the blue strings are free but I think this is going to be really cute in one of the journals I'm going to make I'm actually going to make a sewing journal um, out of a ringed binder the, I think it's a Better Homes and Gardens sewing journal and won't this be cute in it and I'll use it to keep some of the sewing notions or whatever in I think but love that and now I think I want like I was showing you the piece at the top that one's not quite big enough let me find another spot of green I think it's going to be right here so knowing I've got to make it wider I'm going to do that right off the get-go and I don't want it to necessarily run into the top too much so here we go I'm going to put it right there and right there I want it to go just below the lip sorry if you saw my head Isn't that cool? I'm going to lift that little piece up a hair. Let's just stretch it a tiny touch. There. Cute. I have trouble cutting straight. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. I do have it a little crooked, but it's a jump journal, right? So that are my two uses, and I still have enough to do belly bands or other things with the trim. But I just thought this was so cute. And I like it with the lime green. You could do it with any color, but isn't that gorgeous? And then I may um, come back and do something in the center um, or do a slow stitch since it's going to be on a sewing journal. So that, along with this beautiful belly band, are two things to give you ideas that you could do with this gorgeous beaded trim from BB Craft. Now, I want to go over here and show you what I was going to do on these pages. Let's move this. And again, the item number, as I read earlier, with the beaded trim, it's there. And I will also link below my um, unboxing video for those of you who'd like to see that and see what's coming up. So there we go. So now I used my big kick and used the doily die. And you get this doily, this doily, and that little bitty one. Aren't those cute? And you also get the word love in the center, which I didn't use this part. And I made quite a few so that you could see. I used some vellum paper to make some of the doilies. Isn't that pretty? And we love our vellum, right? And then these I messed up a little, so look what I did. I just cut the curly cues off and still can use them. And they worked amazing on the vellum. Isn't that pretty? And it almost, because of the way it... Um, Oh, I dropped one. Y'all know I'm just an accident waiting to happen, right? Oh, well. So, it'll make it stick up a little bit because of the way the edge curls up, and I just love that. Isn't that pretty? You can put it on anything, and you can see it better in person than you can on the camera but I love the way it shows through there and you can still see the back with the vellum and you could put it low and have it as a tuck spot 
which is kind of what I was going to do. Or this could just be a decoration and you can put something in the center. So I also did, let me find these and show you, some beautiful, um, there's the little one, the little heart, isn't it pretty? So I did some on this beautiful um, paper that's got like a velvet feel. You can see it better there, isn't that pretty? And this correlates with that. Here's the big one. So you could use just that and use whatever size you want. Here's the medium one. And I could put it there to give it some stiffness. Or I did the big one, which absolutely beautiful. I love this paper. Don't have a clue where I got it. You can layer it because you can see through. So it gives it a little bit of a muted effect. And I love the way that looks. There's just so many things you can do with these dies and then you could put that on top if you wanted to. Isn't that pretty? The other thing you can do um, is, you know, that's a little big. Again, I, I did all sizes with the vellum, but today I want to use this as sort of a mini pocket, if you will. Let me find my little tags that I was going to use. I wanted to pick up the pink over here. So if I do as a tuck spot, I just glue from here down and just tuck it, right? If I want to show the butterfly, which I think I do, I'm going to do it just kind of like that. Isn't that pretty? And then we can decorate the inside like so. With a little cheesecloth. And I found this beautiful sentiment that says blooming marvelous isn't that pretty just a wonderful addition and it pulls in this pink so that is what I'm gonna do so let's pull this off and pull this and I want to remember that I don't want to glue so I'm going to keep it like that turn it over and do this again for the sake of time I don't want to get too much and I'm going to put it like so pull that out and I like them to be a little tight unless I'm putting you know something really thick in there which I'm not and of course when you use hot glue it will just roll off, which I like. And so does Fabri-Tac if you get it while it's still tacky. Isn't that pretty? And I love this paper. So then you just tuck your little card like so. I like that. Let's see how, yeah, like that. And then I also had to bring in the green. Hello there. And I will probably ink that. Um, but anyway, just a cute little tuck spot. And now I want to layer this. And I don't necessarily want my glue to show, so I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac and see how that works, because I can put it all the way around. But I want to leave the ends loose. Sorry, I'm out of frame, but I figure you've seen people do glue before. And then if you kind of rub it in, I think it helps without showing through. Where's that little bugger right there? Okay. So then we're going to try to line that up and just do like this. And again, you can rub it off like that and isn't that pretty with the vellum on top it looks really good so now I'm going to do my um, cheesecloth and I'm just going to use this to swirl it around and we'll just bunch that up which I like that look cute and take our blooming marvelous 
put a little glue on the back of that and there we have it isn't that cute absolutely adorable let's get closer gorgeous then on this side so I did these the way I got this look was I put the um I'll show you I did this die and I put this one in the middle and tried to kind of center it like so and when it comes out it has that scalloped look on the inside of the doily so that's pretty too and of course this is a little big for that but what I wanted to do on the other side let's just show you you don't have to have a tuck but it's pretty if you do for this side but I might want to make something green so I thought I'd show you how I use those um, how I use the, the die so I've got this beautiful piece of paper that kind of matches right there and on my big kick that I always try to call big shot <laughs> it's not the big kick let me move my glue gun out of the way so you can see okay I'm going to take and you can see these have been well loved right I'm going to move this over so that I can pull this here so you can see what I'm doing move my glue for a moment and get all this stuff off from where I used it before and most of you know how to do dye so it's not like rocket science you just you just have your plate then you get your paper and mine's a bit long so let's cut it off and then you take your dies and upside down so that it cuts where you want it to cut so I'm going to do it right about there and I want to do the small one because I think this big one is too yeah it's a little too wide but I don't want to use the big one I don't want to waste this paper so actually I'm going to do this because that's going to cut and then I won't waste my paper right you know what let me do this since I'm going to do it that way here we go now you gotta be careful because you can use washi tape to kind of tape them down so they don't move so I'm going to get a small piece of washi and I believe BB craft also sells washi I just haven't gotten any from them I don't this was just some random place that I got them so I'm going to just take a little piece to kind of hold it in place like so and I think that's just enough that that should work so then you're going to take your plate and mine are getting warped so I try to go yo back and forth with them to get them to go right so I've kind of slide it in I'm going to turn and then I the way I do is I come back through a time or two just to make sure and I don't know that you have to do that, but because I've got that washi tape in there, let's see if it worked through the washi. And it should have. And yes, it did. So you see, I got the scalloped look on the inside, and you just pull that out. And sometimes the um, little holes, you just take something and poke them through like so usually um, 
they actually come out clean, but I haven't cleaned my dye from doing the others. So if you clean your dye and get all the little papers out in between, then you won't have to do it on your actual piece. Dun, dun. So you just poke them through like so. So washi works really well to hold your dies in place. And then the little one, just poke those through like so. Isn't that cute? They work very well. It's a very simple process to do. And I need to clean my dies, which I will do later for sake of time. So, I've got these. Now I want to clean my mess right here. And get my journal right here so what I wanted to show you is I want to bring in the green over here isn't that cute just for a little decoration I don't necessarily have to have something tucked on it and then there's one there and that might have looked good to put under my blooming marvelous but I didn't do it or you can leave it together and then that cute actually I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. Yes, I will. So, we're just going to glue it down with I'm going to use art glitter glue this time because it dries really fast. Well, I'm going to use it if it's not stopped up. It shouldn't be because I've had this in there. Just move it around a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. towel and baby wipe so I'm doing that and now I want to put this in the middle make sure I get it lined up right there we go Isn't that cute and it pulls in my green then I can take <clears throat> a little piece of um, cheesecloth that I'm cutting over here where you can't see. And we'll take a button. So I like to kind of do this to my cheesecloth and make it ravelly because that's the way I roll. Like so. That's too big. I just love cheesecloth so you could use whatever you want or you don't have to put anything over it I just think that's cute to put down with a little button so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna scrunch it as it's sticking to my finger just a little something for the background of the button then I'm gonna grab a pretty button out of my drawer here. Do I want a beige button? I don't think I want white. I think I like that. I can't reach my green button, so I like that. That one 
button right there. Sorry, I had an avalanche. And normally I thread the button. Let's get this back in. Um, because I like the way that looks instead of just leaving it like that. Um, but for today, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to leave it open. So I want to use some fabri -Tac. I probably should have kept my glue gun heated, but I'm just going to squeeze that around. Put that in the center right there. Hold it a minute. Isn't that cute? Just a little decoration on a page. And then there's my little tuck spot. Love it. So as you can see, these um, products from BB Craft are amazing. And I didn't show you the item number. So it's BB Craft, www.bbcraft.com. This is the doily die, item number DIY-WHO2630127. And if WHO doesn't look doesn't work, then it's WH0. But I believe on this one it was WHO263-0127. So if you don't have a doily die, you want to get these. They're beautiful, and there's so many different ways you can use them, as I said. So I hope you enjoyed this little process video showing off the BB Craft items that we did today. We have the doily die, and we have the beautiful trim, and um, hope you will pop over, and then there's the belly band. So I hope you'll pop over to BB Craft and check it out and again order $25 or more and you can get your products free shipping I love you guys thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to be showing the farm stencils which are amazing the chicken and lots of different ones I've got a couple of different ideas for these that I'll be showing you and I'll be using the rickrack that I got from BB craft so tune in for the next video, which will be coming up next week. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.